All right, still in the minor leagues. And the rate I'm going between bases, I've already been called into the principal's office twice. I'm going to be in the minor leagues for a while, probably even playing for a different team. Just wish I could get that. Like, it should be simple to run from this space to this space, press that button. To stop on that base, press this button. I shouldn't have to hold down L2 to look back at the fielding view to see where the ball's going and then have to press, uh, uh, you know, circle, triangle, square while still holding L2 to be able to go to a certain base. Or if I want to go back to the base I was on, I don't know, or you got to release L2, then push back to go to that base. Or you can also press R2 to stop your runner and press R1 to look where the ball's going. There's too many buttons. It's too confusing. It was a lot easier to steal bases. What was the triple play 2001? I think it was the last baseball game I played on PlayStation 1. A lot easier to steal bases back then. I, given it wasn't Road to the Show and I wasn't on the actual base, only controlling the base runner, so it's probably easier to steal bases in a different game mode where you're actually batting and you're just pressing a button for the guy that's on first, you're just pressing a single button telling him to go. It's probably easier to steal doing that. But in Road to the Show, stealing basins are stealing basins. What are you stealing basins for? You aspiring plumber? What are you doing? Stop stealing basins. Concentrate on stealing bases. Because maybe that's where you're going wrong. Trying to steal basins. Stop thinking about basins. Bases. Focus on those. So off we go. See how we go. This is eerie. See how many basins I can steal. <laughs> um, I haven't done batting cage yet. I don't think anyone in the club likes me at the moment. Let's. Let's try batting cage. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Ooh, here we go. This is batting cage, bullpen, training facility, and a practice field. Training mini games. Now we're talking. Some options will allow you to train with a teammate and raise your potential. Yeah, whatever. Small bumps in your relationship. Don't care. Bunting drill. Ah! It says T drills. No, I want a base stealing drill. Bad angle and hand position. Hit your pitch. Is this just hitting the ball up a T? We're playing T ball now, are we? Okay, look. What's the current cap? Current cap is 55. No, I'll focus on. Let's try bunting since I haven't actually learned how to do that yet. So, bunting. It's already on 71. I just want to learn how to do it. What? I pr wait, what, what? It said press X to advance. I didn't even get to do any bunting training. What the hell, man? I can't go back. Okay, well, that was what, what, so I just select what training I want to do and it does it automatically. I don't even get to participate. It just levels me up. I didn't get to do anything. Uh, great bunting training. The only button I saw down the bottom it said press X to advance. So I did. 
This game is confusing. Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation now, of Minor your, League Baseball. Louis Tonight it's the first of three Baseball. to start the new week between the ear. Standing in, Kid Romero. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's fielder. contest. Kid Romero. First pitch of the at bat. Now a curveball misses inside. Yeah, you should take a look at our visiting club as they interplay here this evening. They did get the win last time out, but it hasn't been the best week for them as they've won just twice in their last six tries. Yeah, guys, after the first four games on this road trip, they find themselves two and two, kind of par for the course. But they got to find a way to play a little bit better today, kind of turn the tide and get it working in a positive direction. Boy, there's another opposite base hit right there, Dero. It's he's turning a April showers into May Fowlers right now. <laughs> there's no doubt about it. This guy has gotten off to a hot start. Ball. Two and zero oh now. This is why I love having athleticism and speed on your team. You can tell the runner on first base is certainly messing with the mechanics of the pitcher. Two zero oh count. The pitch. He's running. That's a strike to throw down, and he's safe. Three balls and two strikes. Now perhaps sensing he's going he to look it. to first. A dive, but he's back. No chance. And another throw over. Ooh, and he'll get back in safely. Runner at first here, one man out. And again a throw and a dive, but he's back in there. I mean, he's had. Will he go again? Full count here. Here comes the pitch. On the ground is short. This could be two. Beckham for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. We've played an inning. Still nothing, nothing. <sighs> At the plate, kid. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. Right, we're going to go with this one. Three pitches to drive in this run. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. All right. Two more. This one's down the middle. may have gotten a piece of that one but no matter it's one and one doesn't that count as out the i nicked that and it went to the catcher bottom right? of but inning number three nothing nothing our that's score out, isn't it? oh that ball's driven into left center this could be trouble is, and that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases he pulls into second hey, safely. So I'm just going to let go of the run button. The run scoring on the play. And I'm able to do my So much of this game is right situational stick. hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He out. just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Just got to stop now pushing up on the run Number button 21. and then slide. Into the box, number 21, as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Runner in scoring position with two gone. I'll figure this out, I'll figure this out. So I'll hold the R1, look where the ball's gone, then decide what I'm doing on the bases. Takes this the other way to right, what, what and that's in there, base hit. What did he do? Yes, yeah, that camera angle. So I pressed R1 and he looked Boy, that so way. Frustrating as a pitcher. The directional a button pitch messed on the inside me up. Half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, d -row, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip third, your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job on the and off. Because of that, I changed the camera fight. angle. It doesn't matter what it looks like. The knock's a knock. Here's Chris Davis what now. And again? this is going to get down for extra bases, as that'll get one, if not both of them, home. See, I could have went home there. The freaking camera angle whipping around. 
I've got to release that oh, R1. A base running problem here. There are two men on second, and this is going to end the inning. Why so there two one run what here the on hell, four man? Hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. On now to the top of inning number four. Why were there two on second? The Sox lead God, this was thing on first, ran to second, nothing. and because I stopped on third and didn't run home. Um. So I can use L1 and R1 to control my runner. Right, but then, what button do I push? Too many buttons that you got to push to be able to do something simple. Play lock button, base running, pre-pitch, R2, steal. Stop runner, post pitch. Ready for another chance? <laughs> Kid Romero. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Kid Romero. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Lifted the other way to left center. Calling for it. Pena makes the play one away. Ready for another shot now, no Kid fielder. Romero. He flew out in his last Kid. at bat. And with his speed, Romero. he's one of those rare guys who you'd actually like to see keep the ball on the ground. You can't beat out a fly ball in this game. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Low for ball one. Okay, so I'm going to draw it out four pitches and still drive in a run. That's one pitch. One and oh, here it is. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Arojo at second. Eubanks on at first so I can with just two go down. On. I need him to pitch another ball. Hit the target, but this is low. Two and one. Well, I know okay. the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here. So the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. Can't sack fly. That's lifted the other way out to left. Yeah. Moving under it, Pena. He hauls it in, nope. and the potential go ahead run will not come around to score. One hit, one error in the inning, but they wind up leaving two. We're through six full, and we are tied 2 2. Stepping into now the box, Kid Romero. He's two Kid. for four in the ball game. Romero. Okay, it's two way out. First offering on its way. And oh. this one runs up high, ball one. This is a critical point right here. Things are in danger of getting away from him a little, so we'll see how he deals with it. The set and the 1 0. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that'll get through into right as he comes up in the clutch. It's a base hit. And that'll score the runner from third what? as they seize control here. Oh, I had to hit it over. Boy, those have to yeah, feel really good, Nero. You just get one, late in the game, you come up with a big RBI base hit right here to give your team the lead. Yeah, no one remembers that ground ball with thighs in the top of the second inning. You want to show up when the game is on. You quiet your emotions down, take the crowd well, out of it, and slow yourself down enough to come work. through, and that's like, exactly uh, what he did. It's a one. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Hit back up the middle, and an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. So one uh, run on two hits, one air. He didn't get that there. Into, was he and two on men the left stranded. Ninth inning coming up, and Bowie is out in front, three to two. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. The Bowie Bay Sox came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Lincoln Steen gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Dominic Davis hammers down the save, his fifth of the year. Do I have to hold on to the R1 button to keep running, or just tap it, and then he goes? 
Alright, on to the next one against Erie. The game's future stars are on and display now, as minor league baseball movie. comes your way on the show. Baseball. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Erie Sea Wolves and the Bowie Bay Sox. Where, where is Bowie? Tom Roberts is on the mound for game two. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, it wasn't a great performance in his last start, but he did fit. I need to Google it. Where is Bowie Bay Sox located? Bowie, Maryland. I have no idea where that is. So there's obviously a bay. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Okay, it's uh, over in Washington. Okay, there's there's. Pennsylvania, just up north. There's Maryland, Delaware. Okay. So it's sort of southwest of New York. Okay. So we're on the east coast. Sort of. Stepping up now, Kid Romero, and he's one of the more dangerous hitters in baseball right now, carrying a 10-game hitting streak into this one. That's right, baby. And we're going to keep going. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Tough ones. But I'm sure they've looked at the film, made a few adjustments, and let's see if they can give a better effort today. Hey, Dero, are you aware of this? After that knock right there, that's an 11 game hitting All streak. Right, they're you think about he knows me. it's at 11? I think he knows exactly that it's at 11. It starts off innocent. You just want to get a few knocks to get the hitting coach off your back. Next thing you know, you wake up, you've been sleeping easy for almost a week, eight days. Now we're that on 11. Hurt. This guy's bitter tastes different. Into the box now, number 21. Eubanks over at second. Romero at first with no outs. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. One there. On to first, a double play. A chance now to take a look at how the home team lines up in this one. What's the key for a home victory tonight, Dero? Maddie, this lineup is built on one thing, and All that's right. moving the ball over They're the fence. This on is me. a station to station team. Not a lot of speed the in first this time lineup. I've been the guy but they there don't need next much to the speed lineup. when they're moving traffic to both gaps. Justin Peterson. And I can't talk like I'm doing the team any favors when I keep running myself out trying to steal bases. Now the one and one pitch. High wait, wait, in the wait, air wait, out wait, to wait, center wait, wait. field. Romero moves over. One away. Romero's doing a dance under the ball. Pushing friggin' Time left for stick a look and running at the around defensive in circles. alignment for the home team. And let's spot shadow first baseman. At the plate, kid Romero. Fielder. He Number reached 10. on a single in his first try. Yeah, yeah and they take another Romero. single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's, He's going to wave drive him. on him with a power swing. I don't usually use power swing. First pitch coming. Here it is. Oh, in man. there, and it's 0-1. Oh, this that is was a tough guy right here to hit into a double play. That he's fast and he swings from the left side, so out of the box he's going to get a good break. Out, he might have to try to air. get the strikeout right here because very rarely are you going to get this guy to ground into a double play. One and one. Down and away, ball one. That first pitch was the one. Fouled off.
swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Didn't look to me like that was much of a protect swing with two strikes. No, he was trying to go yard, two strikes or not. Kind of looks bad if you strike out like he did, though. I'm sure his manager would have liked for him to focus on getting on base. Well, yeah, I, I did now the stupid the challenge. Kid, Romero, he looked swing. and bounced okay. back after striking yeah. out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with swing. a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Owen won the count. Stay on the attack if you're the pitcher right here. You know who's lurking, three, four, five, and you'd love to see that number three hole hitter lead that next inning off. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Two out, nobody on. Why would I bunt? Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Wow, that's a tough pitch to take. 0-2 fastball just off the corner, and I mean just off the corner. Lifted down the line and left, and this will wind up a foul ball. Thought I got a good piece of that one, too. Now this pitch <laughs> sails up and in, and that leaves him muttering to Careful, himself. Careful, Mr. Ball Mohawk. Two. That was a little close to my chin. Out in early. front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Another try at 2-2. Bat explodes oh. as this has popped up. Dunbar is calling for it, and cool. the inning is over. So they go quietly <laughs> here in this half inning. Five innings complete, all tied at one and one. Need a new bet. Leading off the inning, Kid Romero, as they'll look to get something box. going here and even this game up. Either. This thing's far yeah. from over, even though we're Romero. moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing oh, up. Let's just get on base. <laughs> Come on. Here comes the first eight. pitch. Zero. First pitch Son hack in here, and that's the first oh, strike. It's funny. Light, that pitch, light, light. I can picture being in the box. That pitch looks so good to hit, and why does no one ever get to it? A good, oh, yeah. executed, high fastball usually blows 9 out of 10 guys away. Line toward the gap in left center, and oh, there's a base hit. So there, there we go. go. The possible tying run aboard here to kick off the home half of the eighth. The leadoff hitter finds his way on base. Should be interesting to see the cat and mouse with the manager. Does he use the bunt right here? Do we put a little hit and run on? Do we go old school, new school, and just let him swing away? Should be interesting. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. Quick check on that tying hey. run at first. And he'll dive back in safely. Nothing silly. Come on. Oh, and they've got him picked off. The tag, and he is cooked at first. Yeah, no. Nah. So much for that leadoff single. That was a good move and a pretty quick tag by the first baseman. And it's, it's freaking like base running never controls even happened. are driving me insane. Driving me insane. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And, and he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Am I in the dugout? Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Hey, Dan, obviously good game plan by the offensive team. Bunch of knocks, but they can't seem to get any runs going. Boy, I'd say that's a pitch. Coming to the plate now, Charles Moving Kristen. On. He flew out in his last at bat. Charles Kristen. Still Swing and a little that blooper that freaking... to center. Romero coming on. He can't get there as it falls in. The base running controls. Hey, this looks like it could be a potential. Ready once again, now Dwayne that. Torres. The shortstop. Dwayne. Because I was Torres. holding the R1 to sort of lean forward. I didn't want him going. So I held it to lean forward and he took off running. 
so you can't hold it to Lofted lean in the air out toward right center. And this one. Eubanks is after it. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. How do I lean forward? Hey, it's hard yeah, to win lost. games at any point, point, but to win games on the yeah. road, especially in this ballpark, uh, so they are very happy with this win. Close Man. one tonight, two to one, the final score. The, the Seawolves came ballgame. through late, taking the, the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. So annoying. I need to look at these controls again now. I've swapped it to uh, the buttons for the bases. That's the problem, I think with the other ones when you use an analog stick you can use the R1 to lean forward like giving a little bit of a you know a little bit of a head start by just leaning yeah, RTS player lock button base running all right now look, let's go mode specific options I'll put that back to analog now go to game oh, now go to controls yeah see there's a hold to look at the ball return advance no where is it hold to lean forward pre-pitch you can lean back you can lean forward lock analog base running pre-pitch I'm one step away from just letting the CPU take care of all the base running. If that's possible in Road to the Show, I don't know. So this one doesn't have an R2 for steel. It's just advance, advance. Um, there's no just steel button. It's just he goes when you push up. The problem with that is then you press R1 to look where the ball went. The camera flips around. You're pushing up, and he goes from running towards third, let's say, because you're pushing up and the camera angle was flipped around. Then he runs back to second. That's, yeah, maybe I've got to start doing hold L2, press circle, hold L2, press triangle. I don't know. Or a last game against Erie. Let's see how much I can stuff this up on the bases. I'm really lost on the bases. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to use analog or buttons. Each one has its sort of positives, but then they have their massive negatives as well. So frustrating. Time for minor league baseball here on and the now, show as we set our sights on the double A Eastern League. Fanta. Tonight, the rubber match of this three game series between the Erie Sea Wolves and the Bowie Bay Sox. It right. Number 36 gets the ball in game three of the series. Right. Dan, any thoughts? That one too. Hey. You don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three, but if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. I'm probably to blame for those losses, though. Play ball. That's ball four. Ball four. Take the break. Three. Yeah, he just walked two guys. Coming to the plate now, Kid Romero. Couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. Romero. Okay, let's see if we can get on base and then stuff it up with the base First running. First pitch of the at bat. In there, strike one. Well, you take a look at our visiting club as they take the field tonight. They come in on the heels of a victory last time out, but they've been in a bad stretch recently, outside. losing five of their last eight ball games. Oh. Maddie, we've wow. seen some good baseball in the first two games wow. that is set, and expect another close one here. Both of the first two games decided by one run. You know, Dero, when you get in these series like this, when one run means so much, you like to be able to be the team to score first. But both these games have been very close, and it's going to boil down to who gets the big hits in the seventh, eighth, and ninth inning. 
And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. 0 2 pitch, not even tempted. close to the zone, and a fastball oh, tempted. might be I'll an indication that he's going to start using I'm some of his strikes. secondary pitches. And a fastball swung on and missed Man. as he just reared back there, two away. And with that, here's a glance at the starting lineup for the home squad. That counts. What's the key for a home a win here tonight, Mark? Time. Well, Matty, you look at this lineup. The key to success is scoring early. This offense needs to get on the board. Yeah, my guy's looking a bit too big for his boots. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Dwayne Torres. And it's been a real Dwayne. struggle for him with the bat Torres. so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. Romero sprinting after it. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. I think he could have got there anyway. Stepping into the box, Dustin Peterson. As we begin the top of the fourth. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base one, runners one, on one. and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Romero is right there, one down. At the plate, Kid Romero well, he he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. A ball, ball and no strike. Here it comes, 1-0. Oh. Yeah, and that's inside and a bit low anyways. It's 2-0. Oh. Yeah, Boy, he just looks locked in at the plate right better. now to me. His numbers in recent games have been very good, and those were two stone-cold takes right there that put himself in a great no. hitter's count. Skied in the air to straightaway Stop left. It. Pena has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. What am I doing? So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Bobby the Vernon, runner in scoring Bobby position with Sugan. Birdhead. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. In the air to center. Romero giving chase. He won't have a play, and this should finally get him on the board. What am I doing? As he arrives at second without a play, as they jump ahead with a run scoring on I the play. I was going to throw him out at home, but I should have thrown it the second there. In now, Carlos Pena. He got on top of one. It was a ground out victim last Carlos. time. Pena. He's set. The 0-1. Lazy fly ball out to center field. Romero ranging forward. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. So one run on one hit, no errors, and a runner left. Yeah, at least Last half of the one. fifth coming up. The Sea Wolves lead it one to nothing. Digging in to try it again, Luis Ramirez. He got Luis. called out on strikes his Ramirez. last time through. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Romero is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Striding into the box, Kid Come Romero on, keep will start this out in their half Better of the sixth fielder. as they look to yeah. shake things up here for Romero. a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've this, been completely overmatched at this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, no, what else not. can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. This is hit the other way out toward down, left down, field. Down. Pena comes in a few steps as he Man. hauls it in for the first out. Let's keep chopping it out to that left fielder. Slicing it out now there. Now at the plate, Dustin Peterson. Now no hits in three right tries fielder. so far. He Dustin. struck out once. Peterson. The 1-1. One, one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Romero is in pursuit, but he can't get there, and it bounces over the wall. It's a ground rule double. To it. Cutting it Took close here, late. but he comes through in the eighth to extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he was staring at his last at bat right there, or probably his last at bat. Would have been tough to get him. In. Stepping Man. in and ready for another shot, base, Antonio Barrera. Antonio Barrera. 0-2, oh, here it is. 
high in the air out to center field. Romero has a beat on it. He's got it, and that'll get him out of the jam. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Sea Wolves are out on top, one to nothing. Digging in now, Kid Romero. Uh, He's hitless fielder. coming into Number this at bat, so the hit streak he's been yeah. riding is on the line Romero. here. Yeah, he's up in the double digits with it. You know, he wants to keep it going as long as possible, but this very well could be the last chance to do that. First pitch on its way. Oh. Early off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Hey, back when I first right broke early. into the big leagues, a lot of the pitchers wanted to work east to west. Now, with such an uptick in velocity, these guys are working north-south. That's just a great elevated fast. There's yes, a swing come on, and come a on, drive hit well out to right field. And this will get all the way to the wall now. What are you doing? And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. I was pressing the freaking analog hey Dan, controls to run pitcher, the second. That knock just took him to a 12-game hit streak. Is that controls. in the packet when you're looking over the lineup? Hey, there's no doubt about that, D-Roll. You go Let's into a pitcher's meeting, and they're making fully aware of now who's hot and who's not. Trust me, controls. they knew that he had an 11-game hitting streak, and after that knock, it's an even dozen. Oh. Here's a slider oh. to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Romero stands at first with one out. Skied into straightaway right. Peterson on the move. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. The I'm relay. Guys. On to first, and they get the double play. One hit in the inning, but no one left. We played eight. I knew full. I had to get the back to first, and I'm pressing all the buttons, nothing. and he's just standing there. Look, I need to get back to first. I need to get back to first. Press the button. Go back. Go back. He's just these pitchers pitch freaking standing well. there. It's a shame one of them had to lose this game. And that one run held up tonight. One nothing the final. The Sea Wolves base used running a nice fifth inning insane. to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Ryan Pollock earns the win, his second, as he goes six I'm plus innings and allows L1. only a pair of base hits. No, number L thirty-six. Go back, go back. The because of the camera angle. Up only one earned. Because I'm looking Garrett to the Welsh outfield. Earns the save I'm thinking out I've got to go that way. Third of the campaign. To get back to first, so that'll so just about one. do it for Mark DeRosa. Then he Dan starts running the third. And I'm looking on him now. I'm going to go back the other way. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game. Oh, I don't know for what the to do with these freaking Siebel. controls. One run on six the fact that the it's what stuffs you up is that the camera angle flips around. When the when you're on the bases, if you could just it's without having to press L two to do it, it should just go up to an aerial view, show you where the ball's going, where you are on where you are on the bases. So that you can run the bases properly. I've got to obviously I've got to start using the L2. Look, I've got to use L2 to pull out, and then go right, go to second, go to you know with triangle, go to third with square. I've got to start doing that because using these other controls is driving me insane. Just cost us the game, cost us the series. All right, we're on the road. Do I swap back to the freaking the other settings again? I just don't know. It's at to the point now. I don't know what like camera view to use when I'm hitting because none of them seem to make a difference. Dynamic, high, medium. Does it even matter? Same with fielding. I change the camera views in fielding. It doesn't seem to matter. It's the same problem there. Anyway, whatever controls I use, I've got to get it under control, so to speak. Because I want to win this next series.